Now look at this question here. A weight 1000 Newton is hanged from the roof and a wall with the help of two ropes as shown in the figure. Find the tensions in the two ropes uh, using Lamy's theorem. So this is the roof, this is the wall, this is one wire, this is second wire and this is the weight hanging vertically down. And now the point A is under the action of three forces. The weight, the tension, the tension and the point A is in equilibrium. So we can make use of Lamy's theorem. So let us put the forces. The weight is acting down 1000 newtons and let the tension in this one is T1 and tension in this one is T2 and these three forces are acting at A and keeping the point A in equilibrium. So let us draw a horizontal line so that this 60 degree comes here because both are equal and this is 60 degree. Since this is 60 the remaining angle here is going to be 120 and we know this is 90 degree and this total angle this is 90 this total angle here is 90 plus 60 150. So what we did there we noticed the angles between every set of forces T1 T2 angle is known T2 to W angle is known T1 to W angle is known. So if all angles are known and one force is known the other two unknown forces can be calculated using Lamy's theorem applying it at the point A. So let T1 is the first force. So T1 upon the sine of the angle between the other two forces that is sine 90 is equal to T2 upon sine of the angle between the other two forces that is sine of 150 is equal to the third force 1000 upon sine of the angle between the other two forces that is 1000 upon sine 120. So, it is a matter of simplification equate the first to the last T1 is 1000 multiplied by sine 90 upon sine 120 which gives you approximately 1154.7 Newton and if you equate the second and third T2 is 1000 multiplied by sine 150 upon sine 120 gives you 577.3 Newton. So, this is how Lamy's theorem can be applied and to find the two unknown forces provided the angles between all the three forces are known.